Hey everyone, I'm Dylan. This is Dylan's DIY Workshop, and this is also the Holiday Christmas Gift Easy DIY Series. So far we've got video number one, paper towel holder, video number two, a bonsai tree, video number three, a thing holder, pencil holder, video number four was a wooden spoon, I also don't have that here, and video number five were the bookends. So for video number six, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, this time I'm going to use a bandsaw. You could still use the same technique as I used last video. I'll show you that later. First you'll need a piece of wood uh, at least two inches thick. So um, you could even get like a two by twelve. It's only going to be an inch and a half thick, but that will probably work. You're going to want some plexiglass or Lexan or some kind of see-through acrylic. A bunch of screws like this and a screwdriver that you can put those in with. So let's get right to it. Okay, so I just realized I still haven't told you what this is in the video, but you're here and you already know that it's a piggy bank, so anyways. Um, I'm gonna do a dog, you can do any profile you want. There's the rough outline right there. Um, basically, you're gonna wanna do that with the outline of whatever your thing is and then also have the inside. So I'm gonna go right here, like this. And then of course the slot for the coins will be right there. So that's basically it, is this right here. Now, if you don't have a band saw, you could always use the coping saw like I showed in the last video. I'll put a link to that in this video, um, where you just drill a bunch of holes all the way around the outside and then cut it out with the coping saw. I've already shown you all how to do that once, so I'm not gonna do that again because I do have a band saw, so I'm going to do it there. Remember always to wear your safety glasses. That's super important. This step is pretty straightforward. You're just going to want to cut around the outside of this guy and then cut into here and cut around there basically. You're not going to want to do it with a one inch blade on your bandsaw like I have. It's pretty stupid, but it's all I've got right now, so I'm going to bear with it. Just do as I say, not as I do. Cut the outside of this off completely. Now it's time to uh, take out the center there. The easiest way to do this is to just cut in with the bandsaw straight down that line and then carve this out. That's the line you're going for and then just take your time to hollow this all out and make sure that if you're gonna back out of a cut you're going to um, stop the machine so that the blade doesn't uh, stop tracking and then end up coming off, you know, possibly causing injury. So I'll come back when that's done. Now that we've got that done, basically the last thing that we have to do, other than finishing it, is to put a piece of plexiglass, lack of sand, or acrylic, whatever you have, on either side. Now if you really want to, you can put a piece of wood there, you're just not going to see what's inside. Uh, the whole point of this is to kind of see what's inside, but you could always do whatever you want. <clears throat> to do this, take your marker and draw around the inside of the circle. Like that. You're going to want to cut this piece out just the same. So use the band saw again, or your coping saw, whatever you have, both will work.
Obviously, the closer you cut or the smoother you cut, the less uh, sanding you'll have to do to the edges to make it round. Uh, you could just do that with hand sandpaper or belt sander. Uh, I'll just skip that part in this video. It's pretty straightforward. And we'll go back to putting these pieces on. Now that you got both of these pieces cut out and they fit perfect on here, and you've sanded around the edges, I haven't done that yet in this part of the video. I'll do that after. Basically, you're going to want to map out where you want to drill holes. Um, you do that with a marker on the plexi, and then we drill the holes the right size for the little screw that you uh, have. Once you've marked the points, go ahead and drill right through. So once you have that done and the edges of this filed or sanded around, and these holes drilled, basically it's just putting it together. For those of you who might be wondering, we aren't just gluing this on because if you glued it on both sides, you'd never be able to get your coins back out. So other than just putting the other one on and doing a little bit of a touch up finish, that's it for this video. I'll make sure that I actually finish this one and put a picture in at the end, also the thumbnail. But yeah, uh, thanks everyone for watching all these videos and leaving such wonderful comments. Really keeping me going at making these videos. Um, See, so yeah, I just want to thank you all and don't forget to like, comment, to share, and subscribe. Have a good one.